good morning, good morning. So today I thought I would answer a lot of your questions after I posted the 200k video with all the climbing. So many people have been asking me, I mean I get it all the time anyway, but asking gear ratios, which bike I ride, um, and how I have it all set up for doing those long, climby, epic days out. Right, before I get into any of the specifics of the actual bike itself, the main thing is the bike has to fit you. It has to fit you and your body type, as in like your sizing. Um, it's just absolutely paramount because you can have the, you know, the most expensive bike in the world and if it doesn't fit you, you are not gonna ride long on it and you're not gonna ride up a lot of hills on it. So for me, that is like the most important thing is that this bike fits me and this bike fits Perfectly. I'm not saying that you have to have a bike fit, but you should just be more aware of right size handlebars, right size crank length. So all that I think is really, really important. Even before you get into any of the like other stuff, you've got to have those basics sorted. So this is the bike. This is the Ribble Endurance SL uh, caliper version. I prefer caliper brakes for like my summer climbing bike. Um, it's just personal preference. I do do a disc version, but I prefer the rim brake version. So first thing, talk about handlebars. So one of the main things that I used to have problems with on endurance rides, I used to get like a really sh sore like shoulder and back, um, and it turned out I needed narrower bars. So these are 38 centimeter bars, and at Ribble, when you get your bike, you can actually pick the handlebar width. So I know a lot of bikes just stock come with wider bars. Um, but you can actually choose. So that's what I really liked about there, 38 centimetres. Another thing that I would recommend is having um, doubled bar tape. So I've got two lots on here just so you've got like a bit of extra, extra squidge when you're um, riding. Let's get on to gearing. I have a compact on the front, which is a 5034. And at the rear I have, dun dun dun, an 11. 40 that is a 40 cassette right there and the reason that i have that is it means that when i'm climbing i get way less fatigue because i'm able to spin versus grinding and if you're grinding a lot you're going to get sore legs sore quads it's just going to be a lot more painful so for me i freaking love having a 40. i also use 165 cranks now um crank length I did used to use 170s and I mentioned it to Phil um, that I was getting quite sore hips when I was doing a lot of climbing. He's like, do you know what? Try the 165s. It basically, because it's a shorter, it's basically short. He says what, the way I explain it is you're doing like a smaller rotation so that you're not getting as much variation in hip angle. So it, it's basically you're getting like more cadence out of it. That's how I explained it. And I didn't think that I would be able to tell a difference. And then when I go on this compared to my uh, gravel bike, which has got 170, I mean, there's a lot of other factors in that, but it, I can tell a difference. Um, so I'm going to try and get 165s on that as well because I absolutely love it. So maybe that's an option for you as well. The caliper brake. Why do I prefer caliper brakes on my summer bike? I, I just feel like they're really, really good. And I don't feel like I need disc. And I think having disc brakes is just... For me personally, I just feel like it's adding a little bit extra weight that I don't need to the bike. Um, and I like the simplicity of how rim brakes work. So I think if anything kind of gets, I don't know, out of line or something, that you can kind of just fix it quite easily. Whereas with disc brakes, especially hydraulic, I personally just think I, I save that for like wet weather or for gravel riding where it's just necessary. Whereas I think for me on a summer bike, I like the I like the rim brake, so save the rim brake. Also, another thing, um, I've actually gone back to using mountain bike pedals, just because I've got some really nice new mountain bike shoes that are as good as the road. I think personally as good as the road version. So I just like them. They're just easier to clip in and out of, and easy to walk around. I've just fallen back in love with the mountain bike pedals. Also, I didn't talk about the frame. This is the Endurance SL. Obviously, you can have all the components that fit, but if the frame isn't a good frame it's still not going to be a very comfortable bike to ride but i find this really comfortable uh, it's carbon it's light and i just get on really really well with it and i've found it 
just really good on the longer rides as well as like shorter rides but this is just so nice to climb them because it is so light and just really uh, responsive also what we're thinking about this wall i'm going to do like a rate my wall <laughs> like again mm, it's not as good as the one um up in settle because it's like it's not dry stone because it's like concrete in that oh yeah i love a good wall mm. that's a nice stone i think i just like rocks i like rocks and stone yeah i'm a bit weird <laughs> i'm gonna shut up now and just to add as well, I do use bike bags on that bike when I'm doing endurance rides. Today's only like an hour and a half, so I don't really need to bring anything. Um, but someone asked me yesterday on Instagram saying that they got on a long ride, taking a top tube bag, and when they got back, one of their other cycling friends basically said, take that bag off, it looks ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. Um, and said, is it okay to still use them? And yes, it's... <sighs> it The snobbery in cycling sometimes is really... So which this car goes fast. It really winds me up because even sometimes people with the cassette, oh, why have you got such a big cassette? Oh, you don't need that. Blah blah. blah. It's like you do what you want to do and for, for what you want to ride because who cares really? Like I'll have the cassette that I want. I'll take the bike bag that I want. I'll wear what I want, um, and that's just how I get on with it. So don't ever feel like you need permission or you've got to look a certain way or be a certain way. Um, just get out, ride your bike and do what works for you. So I'm just sharing what has worked for me and you were asking, so that is what is, little fly. That's what's worked for me. So that's it now, I'm gonna head back down the climb. This climb is another beaut. This is uh, the climb from New Hay um, up to Delft. Some cycling snobs would uh, be laughing at. <laughs> at this poking out, but I don't care. I don't care, I'm gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna go now, bye. That shop there is one of my favorite names of a shop. It's called Tannerif and it's a, tam a sunbed shop. <laughs> I don't know why I love it every time the first time I saw it, I was like that is the best name I love it that is definitely the closest I'll be getting to uh Tenerife for a while I'm back from the ride and as I was riding back I was trying to describe like trying to think of a way to describe to you like how that bike feels and I think the best way to describe it is when you've got a bike that fits you properly and is just designed for the type of riding that you want to do it just feels like an extension of your body and just responds when you want it to respond and and that bike definitely does that and I feel like a lot of that is obviously the frame and obviously the components and the sizing of it to make sure that it's fit to me and I just love it and I think when you have a bike like that it makes you want to go on adventures it makes you want to ride further it makes you want to ride up more hills um and so actually I'm gonna potentially be doing another longer ride this week so yeah, there might be a video out on Friday of that. Um, but yeah, and I, I just feel like that's so important because I think a lot of people struggle on a bike that doesn't fit them properly. And like, yes, you could give me a bike that's too big or too small um, or just different to what I'm used to. And I could probably ride 200k in it, but it wouldn't be enjoyable and it wouldn't be as fun. And so uh, I, just, I just think bike and a bike that fits you properly is just the best thing that you could ever invest in and I am just the biggest advocate for it and that endurance I sell at the minute is just I love it so so much I just it just makes me want to get out on it in the sunshine and just and just ride all day so yeah potentially uh, another long video this week not a long video a long ride of a video no a video of a long ride late this week. Right, I'm gonna get breakfast because I'm waffling. So I will see you next video. Some guy in a van just honked and then like put thumbs up. So I don't know who that was. <laughs>